All right, let's talk about this new update to real-time materials, real-time materials 2.0. Now, this update is all about one, uh, one of the most frequent complaints about the pack, which is preview sizes are really small. So say you wanted to add a material to this guy, you'd hit shift A, go down here to real-time materials, go to surfaces, maybe pick a surface, go to your paints or your metals. Uh, preview sizes are incredibly small. So we switched it over to the end panel. So now you have access to them in the end panel. Now you also still have that functionality from the old way we used to do it. So if you still want quicker access, you have it here, or you'll say you'll go to rocks. And so I'll go ahead, go ahead and pick this. Actually, this is my favorite one, add material, boom. Now you have that and right over here, you have your editability on your materials. Now this update is all about the user interface. There are no new materials yet. Those are probably gonna come maybe next month. I have one or two collections that I'm working on that I'm really excited about. So no new materials just yet, but all updates are free. So if you already have the pack, go to your library or your downloads, depending on where you downloaded it, and you'll get the new file. It's gonna be called Real-Time Materials 2.0. Make sure, it's really important to uninstall the old version of Real-Time Materials first before installing this new version. So that's really it. It's just, we really redid the look of this pack and just made it a lot better to work with. Now, if you now if you haven't heard of Real-Time Materials, it is a pack made by me. Um, the guy who coded it was Sir Yoshi on Twitter. I'll link his just in the description. He turned this into the add-on. Um, all these materials are hand designed by me and they're completely procedural, totally editable. So for example, you have this terrazzo material. Uh, maybe I want to be more of a tan kind of khaki looking thing and then I'll go ahead and meet that right there with it. So there you go. Now you've changed this terrazzo material to custom whatever you want. Now it has 200 materials, tons of really cool categories, a lot of really cool stuff here. I love the wood materials specifically here. We'll do this, apply that material, boom, now you have. And then you can go ahead and play with the way you want this material to look, you can play with that phase and they work in Eevee. All these materials are compatible in Eevee, designed for cycles and Eevee. So when you hop in your material preview, your materials aren't gonna break. A lot of really, really crazy procedural materials are not compatible with Eevee. So when you go to the Eevee preview to see what your scene looks like, you get a crash. These really prevent that from happening. Um, so yeah, you can check it out on duckythreed.com. You can check it out. Um, you can get it on Gumroad or Blender Market, whatever site you like. So yeah. Real Time Materials 2.0, very excited about it. Let me, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.